you think that these, these uh, the leaders of these universities, the three that you saw, should still be in their jobs? You've, you've, you've right. been very outspoken about other people and their jobs. I'm curious about these people and their jobs. Look, they have all said, I think, they have all said that they are wrong. And if you can't lead, if you can't stand up and say what is right and wrong, very much in the extreme right. cases, and these are extreme cases, okay. then you've got a problem. Yeah, why answer the question, right, Liz? Notice she never answered the actual question there. Dr. Michael Savage is the host of the Michael Savage podcast and the New York Times bestselling author. His new book, A Savage Republic Inside the Plot to Destroy America. He's here with us now. Dr. Savage, happy Friday to you. Good to see you. Um, Thank you. What do you make of the sudden moral clarity from these college presidents and their sudden apologies just a day after the hearings on Tuesday? Thanks for asking me, because I've been fighting these uh, people my whole life. Uh, watching these university presidents, I thought that their masks are finally off to America. They're revealing who they truly are for all of America to see. For years, I've warned that behind the progressive do-gooder face uh, lays much more sinister and radical forces, as we now see. And their efforts to indoctrinate and capture the minds of the young has finally come to fruition. Those who are, were asleep, like the donors, are suddenly awake, and hopefully it's not too late. Now, look, if someone was a fat phobe on the campus, this one would have thrown them off the campus right away. If another one was a transphobe, they would have been thrown off the campus right away by these radical ideologues. I looked into this gay person. It's almost an oxymoron to tell you she has no scholarship whatsoever. She's published a few papers. They were all about race and sexuality and repetitions of each other. She has no qualifications to lead a junior college somewhere in the Midwest, let alone Harvard. And here's something people don't know. I really looked into this. How did she get picked to be president so quickly? It was actually an unprecedented campaign to replace the president who recently resigned with someone new. Normally, it takes a long time to pick a president of a prestigious university. She was pushed right in in a quick way by guess who? Pritzker in Chicago. Pritzker family may ring a bell with some as radical left-wingers, Hyatt Fortune. They're superb left-wing fanatics. They're the ones who pushed this loser into Harvard, and she belongs out where she came from. But she's not She's not the the whole problem. Right. She's a symptom of the problem, isn't she? Can I, can I just ask you, how much do you think these apologies were just about these college professors wanting to keep their jobs? These colleges, and they're not alone, now teach that all people are either oppressed or oppressors, where the oppressed are incapable of moral evil and the so-called oppressors, like white males, are incapable of moral good. This is neo-Maoism, and that is what they're teaching on the college campuses, and nothing will change until fundamentally everything changes. Yeah. Let me ask you, Dr. Savage, today, just this, the second day of Hanukkah, um, it means a whole lot more this year with everything going on in Israel. Yes. Um, what does it mean to you this year? Well, I wrote a book called God, Faith, and Reason years ago where I really looked into this. Uh, Hanukkah is not a child's holiday. It celebrates, uh, first of all, the word Hanukkah in Hebrew is a verb that means to dedicate. And it's to dedicate the retaking of the temple that was captured by ancient Greeks under Antiochus IV, an ancient Greek king who ruled Syria. He forced the Hellenization on the Jewish people. He slaughtered thousands of Jews. He enslaved thousands of Jews. And eventually, his armies were defeated by the Maccabees. The name Maccabee comes to people's yep. minds. And um, when the Maccabees retook the ancient temple in Jerusalem, they went through the rubble and they found the holy oil. It was supposed to last one night according to the story, but miraculously it lasted for eight nights. So right. there's a bigger meaning to people, whether they're Jewish or not, which is when we're downtrodden, when we're defeated, when we think we can't go on, when we don't have another breath left in us, when we can't take it anymore, yeah. Yeah. somewhere within us, there's another ounce of holy oil that we can ignite. 